Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your reading for December. This is my second December reading. I'm going to tag the other one at the end if you haven't watched it. As I was getting ready to do your reading, I had you plan to do today. Thought about it yesterday and here I am today. I was just looking at these birds. These birds are for you. This is a message from heaven. Okay, Cardinals, male, female. So it feels like you are receiving some sort of guidance from heaven. Okay, somebody may be with you. Okay, they may be providing you messages or helping you through a tough time. You may not feel it. You Maybe you do feel it. Maybe you, you know, you're going through some sort of moment or whatever where you feel like you're alone. I'm here to tell you you're not alone. I don't know why, where this is coming from. It's coming from them. It's coming from them. Because I don't tell people this unless it's here. Okay, so you are being... Somebody is with you. Okay? And they are guiding you. And <laughs> Now that I say this, I think my last Aries message for December mentioned something like that. I can't remember it. I can't remember none of my readings, but I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but I also have to tell you that there's a soulmate connection. Okay, there's a soulmate connection with somebody that um, is either in your life now or they're coming into your life and they're being divinely guided into your life. Because these are soulmates. They are. It's really... I couldn't just put one of them up here. I had this one. I had this male for a while. And I wouldn't put this out until I found the female. I had to have that female to go with this. I had to. This set was made for you. This whole set was with you in mind. I don't know why. But when I was looking for this female cardinal, I was thinking of Aries. <laughs> I don't know. It's the truth. So I just want to let you know that there is, you are receiving some guidance from above. And whoever this guy, whatever they're trying to tell you has to do with a soulmate. It has to do with a soulmate connection. Uniting you with your soulmate. And this soulmate, I don't know, could even be an animal. I don't know, I don't know. But there's birds right there. These birds also signify freedom. Being in a space where you can are free to fly. You are free to be yourself. December so you may be breaking free from something oh, I'm getting the goosebumps uh, breaking free from something and headed towards a true soulmate no shit extreme happiness now, if you have not met this person yet, you could meet them at a gathering. You could meet them at some sort of celebration. But whatever this is, it's a connection that will be so easy. It's just going to be like, you're my, you know, you guys will be friends. There'll be a lot of happiness. There'll be a lot of smiling. There'll be a lot of togetherness and you guys will be able to build a foundation that is going to be peaceful okay look at these birds i just happened to notice the birds we have the, what are these love doesn't doves represent love two people are going to come together in a, kind of like a true love partnership
But I didn't show you the other card. It was the Five of Swords, which is my most terrible card. It's when you walk away from something. Son of a... Look at that. And you may be... You may be... Um, running into a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you could end up getting married to or committing to or building a foundation with. So this is a golden opportunity that is going to be given to you. She's got the golden opportunity. Something abundant, something you can really bank on. Aries. Giving up the fight. <laughs> yeah. Not going to play games. Accepting a change. Things may be a little bit tense, but I think the tension that you have been feeling is probably going to start to be relieved. Okay. Tension is going to start to be cut. And you may go on your own. You may decide, you know, that you're going to go on your own. And when you do go on your own, you're going to find an abundance almost immediately. The storm is over. Remember, I showed you that Queen of Pentacles? That's the Tenth Pentacle. Where you head right into an abundant situation. Away from this tug of war that you've been playing, away from this game that you've been, it's kind of like a game, this pettiness, this competition, this strife. No. The strife is just about over. And abundance is like right around the corner. It's, it's, it is. I don't know why I'm rubbing my fingers. I just go with whatever happens. You're going to receive something that you can really bank on, okay? Very stable, very secure, very uh, comfortable. Something's going to make you feel good. Put it that way. You've wasted your time, perhaps. Maybe you made a wrong decision and you didn't plant your seeds in the right garden. You may have stayed in a situation that was dissatisfying and unrealistic, waiting for something to change, when you can't make shit grow on a dead tree. You can't, if things have been turned upside down, you have to do what's right for you to turn them backside right up, whatever. Somebody has had a loss of abundance waiting for something to grow that had no more growth left. Things don't grow when they're not taken care of. And somebody didn't, I don't think somebody took good enough care of you or something like that. Or you, maybe you didn't take care of yourself. I don't know. And I don't, I don't know. But abundance, the storm is over just about, okay? This tension has, is just about over. Yeah, you're breaking free. You're absolutely breaking free. This is breaking free. This is removing something that was toxic, releasing. It's, it's, it's like, no, taking back control of my life. Things have not been victorious and successful, whatever it is, that wherever you've been, they haven't been. They haven't been. There's been no progress being made. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of sadness. There's been a lot of heartache. There's been a lot of distress, drama. And it's like, you know what? I understand that I have a better opportunity. And the darkness that you have been in, you're coming out of it. You are absolutely coming out of it. Because... After this darkness is extreme light. 
passionate new beginning, a new spark is being lit. A new fire, a new flame, a new exciting opportunity is being handed to you after you break free. You break free. This is breaking free. You take this is breaking free from something that was toxic, um, <laughs> sabotaged you. It was uh, a lie. It's breaking free. Right into something so exciting and passionate and um, whew, you know, hear me. <laughs> You know, like that fiery, it's just like whew, uh, exhilarating, exhilarating, okay? So, yeah, you guys are going to move into something that is exhilarating. And it's going to be instant. I see, I think it's going to happen quick after you break free. You break free, you, you break free from that cage, that toxic situation, you truly break free. It's like the, you fly. You're pushed off that branch, you fly. And you're flying right into something very very passionate exciting it's like <laughs> get it <laughs> I mean that's what it is it's like oh my god you know and it's instant so there's gonna be like an instant pull in this direction oh my god I try not to get excited like I said and it's unexpected. You didn't expect this to happen, right? You didn't expect this beautiful partner, this mirror, this perfect match to just be looking at you. And now all of a sudden this person and you meet eye to eye. You meet each other. And it's like, oh my God. Instant, instant, instant attraction. Instant this is not expected at all, at all. All of a sudden, this person shows up in your life. You've broken free. You're not expecting it. You've been down in the dumps. You're like, woe is me. You know, this is poor me. And, you know, and then we all go there. So I'm not judging you. Every single sign goes there. So don't think it's just you. But this is an energy of, I don't have any ambition. I don't have any drive. I'm not good enough. I'm Things are out of control. My self-esteem, my self-confidence is down. All of a sudden, this person shows up in your life and all of a sudden, you're up. I mean... Fresh start, new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to put that song under here. Hallelujah. Because that's exactly what this is. True soulmate connection is on the horizon. You're probably going to run into this person unexpectedly. And it's unreal. This is a opportunity to start over in a new direction. But this is also a card of flying free. In my other deck, one of my other decks, it's actually a bird on a limb. So this does have something to do with flying so freedom is going to bring you down a new path towards extreme love and it's being brought this is cupid's arrow you are being brought together with somebody break free break free new passionate beginning i mean oh my god i mean i can't even get over this shit okay so yeah, you break free. Oh, that, that was that was like this. You break free, and you hit break free on both ends. Okay, you break free. Both this is flying away. This is a cage in some decks. Getting out of whatever it is that you've been stuck in, and you have this new passionate beginning with somebody that you didn't expect to come into your life at this time because you were thinking you didn't, weren't good enough, and all of a sudden. <laughs> New beginning. Well, you don't take, it's not, you don't take the past with you. The fool doesn't bring the past, no. And they see the rose, the rose is a symbol of love. I'm telling you what, 
you have a new lover on the horizon and this person is coming into your life unexpectedly and the attraction is going to be so real that you just probably take that leap. You're probably just like, holy shit. You see this fool is, is pointing up at you. They're pointing up and they're, they're saying, no, no. You have this new lover. You have this new opportunity. This person is going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to step out of this miserable situation that you've been in. They're going to help you to step out of this misery. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to, to, to heal. It's time for you to, to have this new beginning. It's time for you to come out of this darkness. <laughs> oh, boy. So, um, yeah. You guys do, you do, you do, you do. You have a new partnership on the horizon that is going to be instant. It's going to be instant attraction and it's brought to you from somebody, from somebody, a spirit, a spirit, a spirit. It could be a mother, grandmother, great grandmother, ancestors. And you're going to start over. You're about to start a fresh new journey, a, fre a brand new journey in a new direction and where you have never been before. This isn't the past, okay? Because the fool does not take the past. So for any of you who are like, oh, it's my past love. No, this reading isn't for you. You can click off right now. This reading is somebody brand new. It absolutely is. New beginning, instant, instant spark. And it's just like, Boom! It's like boom in love. Undeniable. Completion of hard times. The heaviness. The heavy weight. The pain that you've been carrying being dropped. Dropped. This person is going to help you to drop this load that you have carried. Done. Completion. Done of carrying that shit. Dropping this. Headed towards something new. Dropping some sort of... lie and headed towards a new beginning I guess sneeze coming I had to push pause to sneeze so I'll have to combine this together but you're gonna be you're gonna be coming together with somebody after probably living in a situation that was painful you were involved in a painful situation that was weighing you down. It was just really, it was, first of all, it was not truthful. It was, there was some dishonesty in it. And now it's, and, and it's like somebody stole your power. You felt powerless. But you're being offered this opportunity. You are a fresh new start away from something that was burdensome and hurtful because that sword hurts something has been hurting you and it's been heavy but somebody's coming in to help you heal and this is a perfect match absolutely you see the apple hmm divine connection there's going to be no denying this. The minute you guys see each other, it's going to be like instant. You're it. You're it. You're it. <laughs> you're it. You're my, you're my soulmate. You're it. You're it. You're it. It's easy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You are the one. Where have you been? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God. So Aries, be prepared to run into somebody, I think at some sort of gathering, because that first card that came up, you're going to run into somebody unexpectedly, this person is, you're going to fall in love. I mean, it's going to be an instant, instant attraction after you break free. For those of you that don't break free, there, this, oh God, there could be a fresh start. If you're with somebody right now, 
you're with somebody right now, okay? For those of you that are with somebody right now, there could be an opportunity to start over, to start fresh. If you are broken up with somebody, I'm here to tell you, if you're broken up with somebody and you're not communicating, no, there's no communi... It's not that person. It's not that somebody new. It's somebody new. It's somebody that you have not been with before. If you are single and you are waiting for somebody, it's somebody that you have not been with before, okay? Don't get that messed up. Somebody's been living a lie. They have. And it's been overwhelming. And it's inhibiting them from getting this partner. That's exactly what this is. This is not a reconnection with somebody from your past. It's somebody new. If you are in a relationship now, you could be breaking free into something better. You absolutely, positively could. This is breaking free. If you're in a relationship now, there is a possibility that you could have a fresh start, but I truly feel with all my heart and soul that this is a brand new connection. I don't think this is somebody from your past. And I do see, I mean, I can't, I can't pretend that I don't, that somebody is breaking free from something that was toxic. Somebody is breaking free. They're, it's not healthy an unhealthy situation. They're breaking free and headed towards something way, 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 way more exciting. Has big opportunity for growth and more loving, more perfect, 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 perfect. But for those of you that are still holding on to something that is a lie, because somebody's holding on to a lie for sure, then you have to break free. You have to break free to get your divine soulmate. I mean, that's all there is to it. There is an unexpected run-in with somebody that is brought to you from above. Be prepared to meet somebody that is going to strike your fancy instantly. And I'm not going to keep going. We're going to get two of these for Aries. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Go ahead, get to know this person. Release your ex. Release the one that has you stuck. Please. Because you have somebody here that is going to come in. They're going to help you heal. It's going to be so beautiful that you're going to be like, hallelujah. Talk to you next time.